Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm talking about Venus conjunct to Pluto in the composite chart or the Davison relationship chart. I use both of them interchangeably but not Sinistry. I've done Venus conjunct Pluto in Sinistry. You can check that out on my Venus Pluto Sinistry playlist. So in this video we're talking about the conjunction of Venus and Pluto in the composite chart which is the combined chart of the relationship. So it's kind of like a natal chart for the relationship itself. So when you have Venus conjunct Pluto there you are a bit of an intense couple, right? There is not a lot that you take lightly with this conjunction. It can mean that you are powerfully, irresistibly attracted to each other and sex is a major component of the relationship itself. Um, but usually the conjunction is actually more harmonious in the composite chart um, than some of the other aspects. It actually shows that you both are seeking the relationship for those powerful sexually healing activating reasons so it actually shows like a sexual compatibility and it also shows that as a couple your idea of love is very intense and what you become together is something very serious intense transformative and you both are generally in agreement of that so it's a little bit different than some of the harder aspects where we're having these conflicts about venus issues we actually um it, the way that we combine is that we both don't take this lightly um as a couple like this is a very intense like love of a lifetime relationship and generally unless the rest of the composite chart is very um difficult this just shows that this relationship is something incredibly intense transformative and healing for both of you so you could also see with this composite chart aspect that the composite chart can also show how other people see the couple especially if this is happening in first or tenth house um, of the composite chart this is a couple that is intimidating this um if you're working together if you're in business together you can be ruthless it could even activate um some powerful financial urges together so if you're in business you can just really want to make a lot of money and be dominant in the world so you could see this in a couple that also works together makes money together is very dominating in the outside world like i'm seeing like you know yeah like a, a boss couple um like yeah a couple of like just very um intense opponents as well like if you were battling against this couple um you'd probably lose so there's definitely a, um a very powerful energy and charisma that can come when a couple has this aspect in the composite chart and they can do great things if they can leave the bedroom for a few minutes to do them which might prove to be difficult with this aspect so there's definitely a lot of good to this aspect it is a relationship that will feel like a love of a lifetime that will feel like the most intense relationship of your life and that's a pretty good thing to feel when you're a couple. This is a good aspect to have in your composite chart. If you are seeking something that will completely change your life, your values, your idea of love, your financial status, even maybe um, this is the right relationship for that. Now, it isn't, like I said, it isn't a, a super lighthearted relationship. If you added, you know, some nice Jupiter and Neptune stuff, then, you know, we could see this being lighter. Um, but the problem with this aspect is that the level of intensity is unmatched. It's very hard to um, break up with an aspect like this. Things can get ugly because of the depth of feeling that is there. And um, so it can be really hard to let go of this one if you need to. You know, you'll have to do a lot of cord cutting and 
psychic tie cutting and, and forgiveness and release, which is something that doesn't come naturally when we have a Venus Pluto contact in the composite chart or in synastry. But in the composite chart, it's like you become this together. But you can also look at the synastry to see, you know, what Pluto's going on in the synastry. And um, it's kind of like the synastry births the composite so you can see the the synastry themes and then you can look at the composite chart and see what is made from all of that stuff going on right and um you know this one it's a plutonic relationship you could classify this as a plutonic relationship it's going to have all of the themes of a plutonic relationship and um there's definitely an element of yeah like i said power through love so you can really become more powerful in this union you might have to let go of self-worth things that are holding you back you know this relationship being in it might trigger all kinds of yeah self-worth things financial things issues around love issues around control and letting go um, versus holding on. These are all kind of themes of Venus Pluto. Also, you know, dominance. One person, well, with the conjunction, we're more likely to see both people dominating in the relationship and in their life, where with some of the harder aspects, we can see it more flick and switch, where, you know, one person is the dominant one and the other person is following the lead always or sometimes uh, begrudgingly, you know. So with this one, though, it, it does seem to activate in people kind of a plutonic or scorpionic energy in themselves that makes them, yeah, more dominant in life, more dominant in this relationship. It's a relationship of two very powerful people coming together with a love that can transform the world even depending on if it's in a very visible house and you want to look at the house placement too because that's going to show the area that we're going through the major transformation that we're going through the upheaval um that we're channeling this passionate sexual creative energy this relationship is very intimate it's very deep it's very soul activating it can feel like a soulmate bond it's not as much like venus and mars just pure sexuality although it has that component but it's like a soul sexuality that is activated yeah <laughs> um what else could i say about it yeah you definitely will notice this couple because they have a power, they have a charisma, they have an intensity that is magical. And if they can never turn on each other, this can be a very beautiful aspect. And if you are going through a breakup with this aspect, um, like I said, psychic tie cutting, cord cutting, energy releasing, like these are all going to be things that you'll probably have to do to let go of the obsession because the heightened intensity of a Venus Pluto aspect in the composite, it's almost unmatched that you can have a really hard time getting it out of your energy field, getting it out of your consciousness. Um, forgiveness too, you know, recognizing that this relationship was meant to be what it was and it was what it was and you can't ultimately control the direction that it's going to go in and see pluto wants to control it when we have a plutonic relationship when we have these pluto aspects in the composite chart we want control over this and where it's going and we just can't always have that especially if you throw in some uranus into the composite or synastry it's like we have to get comfortable with letting go and we have to get comfortable with all of these powerful feelings being brought up and having it maybe not be forever right but this aspect alone doesn't say you're going to break up i'm just saying it's very challenging if you do because the amount of prevalence this has on your consciousness and on your body mind spirit soul is just very unmatched so yeah, but it's great for usually going to be a 
highly sexual relationship that um, has a lot of healing through that aspect and then also the combined um, power and charisma and allure that you have as a couple can be very yeah very attractive to the world very good for doing business together making lots of money just be careful not to run over everybody um with this aspect you can become very ruth ruthless probably more with the opposition but also with the conjunction so there's definitely a lot of good in it and it's definitely going to change your life in a big major way to have this aspect in your relationship chart so handle with care and caution you guys <laughs> i'd love to know your experience of this aspect in the composite chart was it like this was it not like this let me know in the comments and thanks for your requests you guys keep them coming in the comments and yeah thank you so much for watching we'll talk soon bye